Hey guys, welcome to another video. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, make sure to do so. Uh, click the subscribe button, click the bell icon and like the video. I upload new gambling sleight of hand demonstrations and tutorials every single week. Plus some new things that we're going to be doing later on in the future. And also remember every 100 subscribers, every time we hit 100 subscribers, I'm giving away a free deck. We've already gotten our first winner and that is Began Bros. Very happy to have you on the team. Very happy to have you here uh, on board. Thank you for all the support and you too can win a deck of cards. Now onto the tutorial. Today I wanted to bring you something that was very, very um, oriented towards the, the old card sharks in the old times. And uh, you know that I've talked about uh, marked cards and how you can use those marked cards with a second deal. What do you do if you are unable to put in a marked deck of cards? What do you do if you do not have a marked deck of cards? Well, what you do is simple. You marked the cards that you have. I am giving this deck of cards. It is a standard B deck. It isn't, it isn't marked. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna mark it. How do I mark it? That's what I'm gonna teach you today. This is a very old system, so old that it was used principally, originally used by card sharps for marking cards during the course of a game. So this is what they would do. They would sit at the table and as the game is progressing, they would identify key cards, high value cards. This would be of course aces, jacks, queens and kings, maybe tens, but mostly the face cards. And then as the game progresses, you would mark the cards as you get the cards into your hand. So the way the marking system works is that you take any regular deck of cards, such as this, that is not marked. And let's say, for example, we have here the nine of clubs, okay? So what you would do is that, let's suppose that this nine of clubs would be an ace or a value card like a king, queen, or jack. And what you're gonna do is that you're gonna grab it, um, these two fingers right here, the thumb and the uh, middle finger, they're gonna go on the bottom. They're gonna go on the bottom of the card, like so. You're gonna take any of the four corners, you're gonna take that, any of the four corners, and then you're gonna pinch with your index finger here. So forming this right here. This is what you wanna have. This is what you wanna be left with right here. And what you're gonna do is that you're going to pinch the corner downwards. And when you pinch the corner downwards, what you're creating is what's known as a crimp. Now you've created a crimp right here. It's not very easy to see, but it's there. It's actually there. The crimp is right here. And by feel, I know the crimp is there. So if I just rub my thumb over it, I can feel the crimp there. If I rub my thumb on this side, I can feel the crimp there. And depending on how I angle the card, because of the glossy nature of the back coating of the cards, depending on how I angle it, I can actually see a shift in lighting right here. It gets kind of brighter on this side a little bit, and that's how I know that that's where the mark is, okay? So once again, just come here to the side, and you're gonna pinch, all right? Now, the marking system is a bit more complex, but I'm gonna simplify it for you. The way the system works is that you progressively, every certain amount of space, you are adding crimps over on the sides, on the border of the cards. And then you also add downward crimps on the top center, center, and on the bottom. Or you add upward crimps, or you crimp from the bottom up. And that also denotes a suit. I'm gonna make it a lot simpler for you. You don't have to memorize anything. All you're gonna do is simply that you're gonna take the high value cards, the cards that you're interested in, and as the game progresses, simply crimp them on the side. Remember, you don't have to know what the value of the card necessarily is. If you can just get two or three of a kind, you'll be okay. So then you can use, for example, this corner here for the aces. You can use the middle for, let's say, Kings, and then you could use the front here for queens or jacks, and that will kind of give you an idea. But just crimping the corners for those three types of cards, 
So that way you know, okay, this is a jack, this is a queen, this is a king, or this is an ace. Forget about the rest. By vision, you're going to be able to see if one of the other players has one of those high value cards. You see the crimp, you know they have a high value card. And you can kind of know if it's a king, a queen, or a jack. Also, on a more practical note, because you can feel the crimps on the top sides, on the top corners, because you can feel the crimps, they're very good when you're gonna be doing some false dealing. So let's say that I have the deck right here in my hand and I'm going to deal, I can feel that crimp right there. So as I'm dealing the cards, I just move my finger, move my thumb around it and I can feel the crimp, right? So I've gone ahead and taken these nines right here and I've crimped them. They're all crimped. So that's four nines that are ready to go. I'm gonna put them right here on the deck and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give the deck a couple of shuffles. Now these shuffles are simulating what would happen on an actual on an actual game that the cards they get they get shuffled. All right. I've got the deck ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start dealing. It's my deal, it's my turn, so I'm going to start dealing. As I'm dealing to the other players, I'm looking at the deck and I'm trying to feel I'm trying to feel, I'm looking and I'm trying to feel. Nothing so far, nothing so far. Okay, I've got something here. I've got something here. I just felt right here with this part of my finger, I just felt here, the crimp is right there. Right there's the crimp. Let's see if we're right. I have diamonds. All right, so now I know I'm going to second deal. I'm going to second deal to everyone else and I'm gonna deal the nine to me, okay? So here I'm gonna go for the other round. I'm feeling, I'm looking, nothing so far. Feeling and looking, nothing so far. Nothing so far. Everything's okay, nothing so far. I'm gonna deal here, nothing here. Not feeling anything, not seeing anything, not feeling anything, not seeing anything. Nothing so far. Cards are there. Let's see. Nothing so far. Okay, I got something here. Here, right here okay I got something right here right here this is the card okay so again second deal second deal and there's the nine got it right there okay I got something here yeah here it is there's another nine right here all right nine of hearts so now I felt it here on the side I saw it so now again I second deal second deal second deal second deal and there's the nine for me notice We've got three nines on a five-handed game. We've got three nines, okay? So that's three of a kind in your hand after you're dealing the cards to everyone. So this system will help you to mark the cards that you are given. And remember, it's normal during the course of a game for cards to get clipped and scratched. Maybe they get some cigarette ashes that burned them. Maybe get some liquid from a drink or something like that. That's why it is a standard procedure in casinos that every four to five hours of play, the deck is removed and a brand new deck is brought in and open. Now, how to find, let's say for example, the four aces on a brand new open deck at that precise moment with just two or three shuffle? That I'm gonna show you at another video. So make sure you stay tuned for that. I'm gonna open up a brand new deck of cards fresh out of the box, cut the seal, and with just a few shuffles and cuts, I'll get those four aces in my hands. But that's coming up on another video, so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss that. Thank you guys, I'll see you in the next video.